Reading. Reading passage one. You should spend about 20 minutes on questions one to 13, which are based on reading passage one below. Bats to the rescue. How Madagascar's Madagascar, Madagascar bats are helping to save the rainforest. There are a few places in the world where relations uh, between agriculture and conservation are more strained. Madagascar's forests are being converted into agricultural land at a rate of 1% every year. Much of this destruction is fueled by the cultivation of the country's main staple crop, rice. And a key reason for this destruction is that insect pests and are destroying vast quantities of what is grown by local subsistence farmers, leading them to clear forests to create new body fields. The result is devastating. The result is devastating habitat and biodiversity loss on the island, but not all species are suffering. In fact, some of the islands insectivorous bats are currently thriving, and this has important implications for, for farmers and conservationists alike. Enter University of Cambridge zoologist Ricardo Roca. He is passionate about conservation and bats. More specifically, he is interested in how bats are responding to human activity and deforestation in particular. Roca's new study shows that several species of bats are giving Madagascar's rice farmers a vital pest control service by feasting on plagues of insects. And this, he believes, can ease the function financial pressure on farmers to turn forests into fields. Bats comprise roughly one-fifth of all mammal species in Madagascar, and 36 recorded bat species are native to the island, making it one of the most important regions for conservation of this animal group anywhere in the world. Co-leading an international team of scientists, Rota found that several species of indigenous bats are taking advantage of habitat modification to hunt insects swarming above the country's rice fields. They include the Malagasy mouse, mouse-eared bat, Major's long fingered bat, the Malagasy white bellied, free tailed bat, and features a wrinkled lip, wrinkled lip bat. This winter, species are providing a valuable free service to Madagascar as biological pest suppressors, says Roca. We found that six species of bat are preying on rice pests, including the paddy swarming caterpillar and grass webworm. The damage which these insects cause puts the island's farmers under huge financial pressure, and that encourages deforestation. The study now published in the Major Agriculture, Ecosystems and Environment set out to investigate the feeding activity of insectivorous bats in the farmland bordering, bordering on the 
Rano, Rano Mapana National Park in the southeast of the country. Roca and his team used the state of the art ultrasonic recorders to record over a thousand bat feeding buzzes. Echolocation sequences used by bats to target their prey. At 54 sites, the order to identify the favorite feeding spots of the bats. They next used DNA barcoding techniques to analyze droppings collected from bats at the different sites. The recordings revealed that bat activity over rice fields was much higher than it was in continuous uh, forest. Forest seven times higher over rice, rice fields, uh, which are on flat ground and 16 times higher over fields on the sides of hills, leaving no doubt that the animals are preferentially foraging in these man-made ecosystems. The researchers suggest that the bats favor these fields because lack of water and nutrient runoff make these crops more susceptible to insect pests infest infestations. DNA analysis showed that all six species of bats had fed on economically important insect pests, while the findings indicated that rice farming benefits most from the bats, the scientists also found indications that the bats were consuming pests of other crops, including the black twig borer, uh, which infests coffee plants, the sugarcane cicada, the macadamia, and the macadamia nut border, and the sober tabby, a uh, pest of citrus fruits. The effectiveness of bats as pest controllers has already been proven in the USA and Catalonia, said co-author James Kemp from the University of Lisbon, but our study is the first to show this happening in Madagascar, where the stakes for both farmers and conservationists are so high. Local people may have a further reason to be grateful to their bats, while the animal is often associated with spreading disease, Roca said his team found evidence that Malagasy bats feed not just on crop pests, but also on mosquitoes, carriers of malaria, Rift Valley fever virus, and elephant elephantiasis, as well as black flies with spread river blindness. Roca points out that the relationship is complicated. When food is scarce, bats become a crucial source of protein for local people. Even the children uh, will hunt them and uh, as well as roosting in trees, the bats sometimes roost in buildings but are not welcomed there because they make them unclean. At the same time, however, they are associated with sacred caves and the ancestors, so they can be viewed as being between worlds which makes them very significant in the culture of the people. And one potential problem is that while these bats are benefiting from farming at the same time, 
deforestation is reducing the places where they can roost, which could have long-term effects on their numbers. Rocker says, with the right help, uh, we hope that farmers can promote this mutually beneficial relationship by installing bad houses. Roka and his colleagues believe that uh, maximizing bat population can help to boost crop yields and uh, promote sustainable livelihood. The team is now calling for further research to quantify this contribution. I'm very optimistic, says Sopa. If we give nature a hand, we can speed up the process of regeneration. Questions one to six. Do the following statements agree with the information given in reading passage one? In boxes one to six on your answer sheet, write two, if the statement agrees with the information, false, if the statement contradicts the information given, not given, if there is no information on this. Many Madagascar forests are being destroyed by attack from insects. False. Loss of habitat has badly affected insectivorous insectivorous bats in Madagascar. False. Ricardo Roca has carried out studies of bats in different parts of the world. Not given. Habitat modification has resulted in indigenous bats in Madagascar becoming useful to farmers. True. The Malagasy mouse-eared bat is more common than other indigenous bat species in Madagascar. Not given. Bats may feed on body swarming caterpillars and grass webworms. Two. Questions 7 to 13. Complete the table below. Choose one word from the passage for each answer. Write your answers in boxes 7 to 13 on your answer sheet. The study carried out by Roka's team aim to investigate the feeding habits of bats in farmland near the Ranomapana National Park method. Ultrasonic recording to identify favorite feeding spots, DNA analysis of bat droppings, findings. The bats were most active in rice fields located on hills. Eight pests of rice. Coffee, sugarcane, nuts, and fruit. Prevent the spread of disease by eating mosquitoes and black flies. Local attitudes to bats are mixed. They provide food rich in proteins. 
the buildings of a uh, where the roofs become unclean. They play an important role in a local culture. Recommendation. Farmers should provide special houses to support the bad population.